Episode 251. You got a song. In before you could. You like cut me right off. Yep. That's what I did. It was so worth it. Yeah. How Thank you doing? Thank you for that tune. I'm great. I'm so happy to be here with you. I have so much to discuss. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I feel like I had orders of business. I was like, next episode, I'm going to do like orders of business that we cover <laughs> first. And now yeah. I forget all of it. Yeah. Um, let's see. First of all, mm-hmm. maybe I'll mention our website, which has been down. People were... Not happy. Mm-hmm. I think it's running smoothly now. That's where you can sign up for the newsletter. You can get our merch. Um, and also we have the page with all the codes from our sponsors. Yeah. So, you know, if you forget those, you can go there. Our Patreon has been really fun lately with the Q&As yeah. and the Oh, my gosh, calls. Marie. I, I mean, come on. That interview was come on. so... I mean, I just laugh the whole time. She's the actual best. I really like her. Me too. Yeah. Like, you know those people that you're just around and you feel better? Yeah. Just, I, it takes me 30 seconds of Marie before I'm like, okay, well, I'm good today. That feels great. <laughs> I do Happier not. Happier person. So part of what was so funny about that interview was how she thinks, she says she has so many ra- rivals and uh, enemies. <laughs> and I don't understand how she has so many because, <laughs> yes, she's um, like assertive. Uh-huh. But, like, really funny and right. I'm good hearted. It. It's like Brad who's mad about the pizza thing. Yeah, but, like, Car Maria. I don't yeah. know. It just makes me yeah. laugh that so many people hate her because I love her. Yeah, same. Okay, anyway, welcome to the show. Let's just dive right in. Let's. Shall we? Yes. Um, okay, let's talk about, oh, my God. Did you read about the fertility clinic that had a, quote, catastrophic failure oh, yes and i mean, lost all the eggs sarah i know didn't it like something happened where the power went off and it didn't it they got too hot yes yeah they oh. it, and they have a um backup generator could you imagine if that were but someone just forgot to flip the switch when they left that night for work stop <laughs> no it was like a simple no just honest mistake and then the power did go out and then those eggs went right into scrambled like they were cooked. Rotten. Yeah, rotten eggs. Oh my god. And and I my heart broke yeah, for those families. Really devastating. Like I don't want to start off on the wrong foot here, but I just was like, <sighs> oh, I forgot to mention this because anybody that's gone through like fertility, mm-hmm. it, even when everything goes right, mm-hmm. it is stressful. Yeah. So imagine no. somebody had to make a phone call to every oh. family and be well, like, and bad then, news. Like can you sue them? Yeah, they're okay, suing good. for sure. Like, but who cares can, if yeah. those were your only right. eggs? If money doesn't matter. What can you do? It doesn't matter. Though. <gasps> or like if your husband's sperm and then he or died he, or something. Yeah, and I was that's just going to say he died. Oh, or, you can't put a price tag on no, that? You can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. Oh, my God. I'm getting anxiety just thinking about that. Yeah. For those people. I know. Oh, that's so sad. It is so sad. And I yes. just thought, like, obviously you would sue obviously. if you were in that position. Yeah. But like how... Let's say someone came to your therapist's office and was oh, like, this. Oh, my God. How would you even walk them through that? I know it's like a death in a way. It is. Yeah. We'd have to go through the whole grieving process and talk about, you know, it's like the loss is always the thing that's the most, it's it's like totally. regret. It's that, all those feelings. It's the feeling of a loss. We've been talking about privately, Sarah and I, about the idea of regrets. Yeah. And it probably means we're getting old (laughs) because like young people don't have any. I remember like that was Madonna's whole thing was like, absolutely no regrets. You know, oh, that's right. She would whisper it. Absolutely no regrets. And I think she does believe in that concept. I am very suspicious of people. Yeah. I used to throw around the phrase like, I do not, uh, what did I say? I do not regret the things I've done, but that which I did not do. Say that again. I do not regret the things I've done, but that which I did oh, not totally. do. Oh, totally. But I'm still like, oh, I kind of regret some of the I things I did both, too. <laughs> but I regret the things I didn't do more. Yeah. Those are the worst what ifs. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Like I should have sat down on that finish line right before Johnny <laughs> crossed it. You always say that. And I'm like, nope. I disagree with you about that because then you're automatically the bad guy and you didn't even know he was right. going to say no. Right. That's true. That's Cause true. then he would have I mean, said, I, I was going to split hearts. it with you, yeah, yeah. but he would have said, I know it's and a lose so lose. You, yeah. You can't, can't regret but, that. Oh, you're right. You're right. I got to throw that out the window. Okay. Yeah. It's not nearly as I'm bad. I'm glad we worked that out. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I'm glad that's off my list. 
Um, the, on a lighter subject. Yeah. You know how light, how <laughs> You're was, like, thanks, Zeus. Please. Uh, how last episode we were talking about emojis. Yeah. I did a little bit of, uh, I mean, I went down a rabbit hole of emoji okay, stuff great. and like got really into, what is that council? Una, Una something. Their, uh, name. their name is like super official. It's like Unisom something council. Okay, cool. But what there is a mean? huge push for a very specific emoji to come out that I am so in support of. Give me a hint. We enjoy this. Is it a food? It, oh, it's white wine. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. I read about that. Kendall Jackson is yeah. proposing a, it, like they put port forth a proposal for the white wine emoji. Yeah. Their proposal, yeah. the opening paragraph, hilarious. Okay, read it. Okay. okay. It's, <laughs> it basically reads like, then the article I read it was in, in Viceland or on Vice magazine. Mm-hmm. And it said, no, this isn't a 10th grader's quadruple space term paper about beverages. Because <laughs> <laughs> it says, since 6,000 BC, wine has played a critical role for humanity. Wow. The beverage has a complex and history that spans cultures, socioeconomic classes, rituals, and religions. White wine viticulture has reached every continent, oh excluding Antarctica, and has been consumed around the world for thousands of years. Wow. That's their opening I'm convinced. Paragraph. You know what? 15-page proposal they put forward. Okay, and we're, did it get approved? We don't know yet. Not yet. That's crazy. And their argument, they're also saying that <sighs> that uh, it's it would be a really well-used emoji because the white or the red wine is number well, how I guess out of two hundred and six no two thousand six hundred and sixty-six emojis. That's how many there are. Yes, 2, can you believe seven? that? Um, where does Wine fall on the I would in the put order. it at 75? 233. Oh, okay. But yeah. I didn't know there were that many to begin with. Yeah, a lot. So that kind of made my answer like, I don't have any idea. <laughs> right. I mean, that's crazy. You know what the least popular emojis are? The flags. You, I would think that. Yeah. They weren't. Oh, what are The they? least used ones. This is the weirdest one, too. I'm like, I feel like I would use this. Okay. The mouse face. Really? Juggling. Come on. And the block number one. That's it. I'm but what, using why them. is the block? Right. We should just go on a mad, <laughs> like use them like crazy. Wait, name them again. The juggler. The mouse face. The mouse face. Juggle. It's juggling. It's not even a juggler. It's like ball, three balls that go in a okay, circle. Okay, wow. Like, mm. I Who get even that. knew what that was? I didn't. Right? And, and then, then the, the number one. number one that's in a block. Is there a block two and stuff? Yeah. Which is like, why are the other ones not more popular? I bet there is a reason. Yeah. Like the other ones are used in a certain sport or... Something like that. That is so funny. You want to know the top ones? Yeah. Uh, what do you think number one is? The crying emoji, like the laughing Yes, cry. you are correct. Okay, 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 yeah. Number two is uh, hearts. Okay. Then... Uh, like of any color. Y- I like think they it's put just them the heart. One. Like... The red one? Or maybe it's the two hearts. It just said hearts. Oh, it must be yeah, the, the, two t- the double pink. Yeah, I use that all the time. I love that one. And then uh, heart face, like the heart or face with the heart eyes. Yeah. Then the heart uh, blowing a kiss. Yeah. And the eye roll. Yeah. You know what that, those are like all my favorites. I do also love the emoji with the big eyes. Where oh, he's like, that's a good one. Whoa, Whoa buddy. One thing that I read in this that I was like, ugh, I'm so annoyed. So they were looking at what is the uh, the top ranking of, like, what's the first emoji that comes up that's gendered? Yeah. The very first the one. The eggplant. <laughs> Stop being hilarious. <laughs> what is it? It's the the woman with her hand up. Oh, oh, okay. But you know what? The, this, you know you, what they, she's oh. saying um, hand up but flat. But like you know flat. that one? Yeah, yeah, like she's carrying an invisible tray. That's, this is the 20th most pos- popular one. Okay. But the emoji cheat sheet that has the description of everything, do you know what they call no. that person? No. What? Information desk person. Why? So she, the, the, like, the female is the default information desk person. <laughs> right. It's like, it's not a... I'm surprised she beat out the red dress lady. Oh, good point. Because I thought that was the a real ne- The first pleaser. one that's uh, uh, male is 91st, 91st place is the man walking. The oh in the wrong direction if you ask me. <laughs> Don't get her Don't started. Don't get me started. Wow. So. You know what? They should redo the lady in the red dress and have her put on a pair of Beta Brand yoga pant dress pants. And she can be like business and pleasure. 
Because she could still look stylish. Yes. But she could be comfortable. Because you know that red dress no is not comfortable. No way is that comfortable. <laughs> Correct. Get her in those beta brand pants. Have you guys seen me in my beta brand dress pant yoga pants? Because they are adorable. I love that we're calling them dress pant yoga pants. That's what they're called. It's great. Let's just always refer to it as that. <laughs> um, they're so cute. Mine, I got, both of mine are boot cut. Um but they do have straight leg and crop and um, like skinny styles. They have black, navy, gray, khaki, all different colors. And they're so flattering. And that's why I always end up posting on Instagram because when I, whatever I say will not do them justice. Yeah, they're so cute. I love the pinstripes. Me too. They're very flattering. And then like I wear them to meetings a lot. But most of you guys that don't work in your own house like me, <laughs> you can go out and wear them to work and still be comfortable. And that's why I started wearing them because I was like, I could be dressy, but um, also yes. feel good. And if you visit betabrand.com and use our code Brain Candy, you can get 20% off of yours. Millions of women agree that these are the most comfortable pants you'll ever wear to work. That's betabrand.com, B E T A B R A N D.com, and use code Brain Candy and get 20% off your dress pant yoga pants. Um, and that one thing that's really cool about them is that they are like, uh, they started as like crowdfunded oh, cool. and they, you can vote like once you buy a pair, then they'll send you emails and be like, do you like this pair? You can get in now, vote on them. And oh, then nice. when they're available, then you get them. It's really cool. cool. Um, okay. Wait, there was something else I wanted to say about those emojis. Um, I can tell you that the word emoji okay. means picture character in Japanese. I didn't know that. There you go. So that's the word they use yeah, for picture character. Is what it translates to. Great. Yeah. You really taught us a lot on yeah. that. There that are eight new ones coming out for night for 2019. Dumb. Ah! Oh. I'm so okay. A okay. woolly mammoth. <laughs> oh no. A dodo bird. What? Of, uh, you won't give me a tape dispenser, and you chose an animal that isn't even goes. that's ex, that isn't even around anymore. <laughs> you chose an extinct is animal. It extinct. I a didn't dodo know is that. an extinct is extinct. Oh my god. People well, are maybe be, it's a tribute. Sarah. I mean, but like... Tr- Dinosaurs of- are extinct. Okay, that's a good point. But think of when you would <laughs> use the woolly mammoth emoji. Tell me how, in what... Okay, I would. Okay. They're cute. Well, yeah, but like what sentence were mm-hmm. you going to be like? like if you this were, is appropriate. If it was really cold, like Ice Age, you know? Oh. You know, like something yeah. like that maybe. But yeah. is there even... Is there a snowman? Yes. Okay. Okay. You can use that instead. There's also a carpentry <laughs> saw that's coming out, a screwdriver, like magic that. wand. I like what I'm like, hearing. I like that. Okay. A feather. Uh, don't remember that. A ninja and a military helmet. A ninja in a military No, a ninja oh. and a military <laughs> like, that's helmet. A that's hilarious. Stretched. And All oh, right. drunk. Finally. But they're not calling it drunk, they're calling it woozy. <laughs> I like that. Well, right, because it might not be alcohol it's induced. Like, yeah. I love that. Like, woozy. Okay, that's a good choice. Yeah. Um, okay, I read an article in the Atlantic, and this is like keeping with our theme about dating. But there's just one thing I wanted to mention. Yeah. It's about. Um, I should put it in the in the newsletter because I didn't write down all the details. The thing that just struck out struck, stuck out to me was that they referred to there are two types of relationships mm. and that's it. And they said there are love masters and love disasters. Tell me everything. Right. That, and that's like, why didn't I write down the rest? Because I remember reading it and thinking, oh my God, this is so true. And I could picture like different couples in my mind, like they're a love master and they're a love disaster. Oh my God, this is so true. Yeah. And so I'm going to reread it because I want more details on like. I am going to, I don't yeah. often write <laughs> You're like, things right. down, but I'm like, oh, well, I don't Well, because you, that down. I'm sure you have a lot of couples that come yes. into as well. And so like if you were able to see, oh, they fit into this category, the other. And it, I love when. Usually I like subtlety and nuance, but sometimes it's helpful if it's just dualistic and like black and white. And like this was one of those cases where I was like, I can see which couples fit into which. So anyway, I just want to mention. And I'm think I'm really in love with the phrase "love master" because Mm -hmm. it implies that there's a learning 
And you don't just wake up and you're the master at something. Good point. You become a master at something by honing your skill, Practice. by practicing, by working at it. So you can like not practice and be a love disaster, but nobody who practices all the time. It, and if you do practice, you do become a master at it. Mm-hmm. So it can really encourage can couples of like, learning. you can become love masters by really working at this and really practicing and, you know, putting the effort in. Yeah. Which some people don't want to do. Yeah. But if you are willing, I think there's always room to yeah. get better at yes, that, which was cool. But I will, I'll find that article and send it to you and I'll put it in the newsletter because I think there was a lot of insight in there that I'm, sometimes I'm so into an article, then I forget to write yes, everything down. That is like basically the story of my life. <laughs> right. I'm always like, why didn't you tell me about like, that? But I read it. Yeah. I know all about this. Yeah. That's so funny. Do you want to hear about, um, this article I read about psychics uh-huh. and how they were comparing them to people that have auditory hallucinations, like folks that are schizophrenic. Okay. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm I curious. thought you would be I interested. I would be really interested to see the brain scans. Yeah. Well, they did that. Okay. Yes. Oh my and God. They did. I'm like um, nervous for what the end that you're going to Well, they me. did all kinds of studies to like, they wanted to know Are psychics, you know, like John Edward, for example, who say that they can hear, or Mm -hmm. Long Island Medium, who say that they can hear from the people that have passed away, or, you know, that hear a voice like, I'm hearing such and such, and whatever. If really they're They're just, yeah, Yeah. if they're mentally ill, maybe, or if they're really hearing something. Um, So one thing that they determined was by comparing, I think the scan... And having the psychics and they call them psychotics chart yeah. down the what the voices sounded like. Yeah, that they were the same. So the volume was the same, which was actually a good. It was helpful because then it showed that they were truly hearing things. They weren't just saying like, "Yeah, I heard this voice," and uh, they would be like, "What? The how? volume is the same." Yeah. So then that made me feel good. I like that because that means someone's telling the truth and they're not lying. I don't like when people lie. Yeah. So that felt good. Like, okay, these for maybe they're psychic or whatever, and they really are hearing these things. And then, um, so then they played recordings of distorted voices, um, to both and the hallucinators misidentified their own voices. Right. So the distorted voice was really their own. Okay. And the the psychotics didn't know that, but the psychics did. So they, you know how okay. like... Okay, that kind of makes you think that maybe it's just a... Like may, the people that are having auditory hallucinations, yeah. it's really themselves. They're, and they, But they don't know That's it. what I'm saying. Yeah. <gasps> oh my God. It's their own thoughts. Yeah. Dude, this is... Uh, this is really it was this so is good. huge why mm-hmm. this is like a big <laughs> like i'm having like all these thoughts come into my, which i know are my own <laughs> that right. I know. who is are they yeah um and dude then a couple other things or one other thing that i read in there that the mind is a crazy place so do they do you think they just get attached to that like like they, they, it's like a mislabeling in your mind and you think it's somebody else's voice for the then, psychotics yes yeah and then it becomes the same way if you try not to think about something, you think about it more often. Like them thinking that that totally. voice is in that he- in their head probably made that voice come up more often. Well, are you you're familiar with the comedian Maria Bamford? Yes, and how She's she so suffers funny. with um, mental illness, mm-hmm. and un- um, one of the things that she suffers with, she refers to as unwanted thoughts. Oh yes, um, that's in- OCD. Yeah, and yeah. it includes thoughts about hurting people she loves. Yeah, and now she knows like how to cope better with that. Be- uh-huh. But at the beginning, she was just yeah. like, "Why am I thinking?" I've been plagued by the, plagued by those. I think before. everybody has, yeah. especially during high stress times. Yes, I get them a lot, and I'm like, "Why are you thinking yeah. even this disgusting yeah. thing?" Or, or, or someone I'll be driving the car and be like, "What if you just let go of the wheel yes. and you just drive your car off the road?" And I'm like, "What? That's crazy! Don't yeah. you know you're not going to do that?" But you learned how to yeah. deal with that. I think this is a similar type yes. of situation. Yes. But then, you know how you told me they almost like the voice because it's comforting yeah. and familiar yeah maybe oh. it's because they're well not yeah. so people who are schizophrenic say when they go on some people they don't yeah they don't want the they medicine. don't want the meds because then they're lonely and it takes away those 
Then the last thing that oh I read my God. that I wanted to mention from that article was that um, amongst the psychotics, I do not believe in the psychics, but in the psychotics, whenever they would hear voices, uh-huh. there was increased muscle movement in their throat, like um, unconsciously, in the same muscles we use to, to speak. Talk. Yeah, which showed, again, that it was actually them. And, so. Oh, Dude. Fascinating, right? This is... I believe that was the Atlanta. I'm I'll like, find it. I don't even... I feel like this changes how I've thought about schizophrenia. Really? Why? <sighs> because... Because... It feels like it comes from a different place now. Okay. Like, I don't know. Maybe I, you can help them more by knowing, like, the source. Yeah. Even if they don't know the source. Yeah. That yeah. this is... That you are in charge of these voices in your head, and really it's you who's narrating. Yeah. And you get to choose what thoughts are in your head. You know, I mean, I have one aunt who was schizophrenic, and I have a mother who's a psychic. Oh, right. So it's like So maybe a one is of like thoughts. using this thing as a positive for yeah. people, and, you know, I don't know. I, yeah. And the article wasn't trying to say, like, psychics are real or not. Right. That wasn't the, right. the goal. It was just comparing people that have similar symptoms where for one group, they like it. Mm-hmm. Like, um, the psychics don't want to usually get rid of the right. information coming. But yeah. oftentimes, even if this um, psychotic person hmm. is comfortable with the voice, it troubles them. And they'll, the, the voice will be saying things that are upsetting. Yeah. And it was making differentiation between those two things. Oh, wow. There you go. That's really cool. And there's probably a lot of stuff at play. Like if you just have unwanted, if you just have those thoughts, but then you don't like all mental illness, it kind of exists in layers, Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like not just one symptom. It's that you, I don't know, have a tendency to be more violent and then you have voices and then you have, you know, like it's like layers of stuff that cause... You know, and right. most people who are schizophrenic are not violent. So yeah, right. Yeah. Good point. Good thing to remember. Yeah, at um, all, really. Yeah, just let them talk to the tree pole, tree, and to the light <laughs> yeah, post fine over with there. It. Let's go ahead. You want to switch gears? Sure. Um, I have a girl at school, woman at school. Mm-hmm. Every day she comes in. I'm like, those were my glass. She's like, yep. I'm like, really? you using our, you using our coupon code? Yep. Good. Uh, Mod Cloth is a really wonderful site that you can go to to get real cute clothes. They have a lot of vintage styles, yes. which I'm into. That's what this gal's into. And they have such a great range of sizes. They have XXS all the way to 4X. So you can get something pretty much whatever size you are. If you have a question about fit, they have a team of stylists that they called mod stylists. Ooh. They'll hook you up with a complimentary sizing and help. Oh, um, that's cool. And it, it I, you know how it's really fun. Like if you're on Pinterest, like fall's a big yes season for people to get real into layers. Fat. Yeah, because you get your boots out and yes. you get your scarves out or whatever, yes. your sweaters. And it's just fun to get new stuff. And they have a lot of great things right now. And um, I recently was looking at their denim. Oh, and because like I, jeans or jacket. Or I what was are looking you at jeans, in? and then I saw overalls, and I, oh, I, I go through overall phases. Yeah. So I think I'm going to be going for that. And if you want to get 15 percent off your purchase of 100 dollars or more, go to modcloth dot com and enter promo code brain candy at checkout this offer is valid for one time use only and expires on december 5th 2018 to get 15 percent off your purchase of 100 dollars or more go to modcloth.com and enter promo code brain candy at checkout this offer is valid for one time use only and expires on december 5th 2018 get some stuff sarah mm-hmm. um, and now all the bathing suits are on sale Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they're like 50% off. Get out. The one that you have, the green yeah? one, is like $30. I know. You got a lot of use out of it. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm psyched. Yeah. All right. Good to know, Sarah. Thanks for piping up about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was going to keep it to herself, and then she was like, <laughs> all right, take I'll take all the bathing them. suits. Are you sad that Costco is getting rid of their Polish hot dog? 
I did hear that people are outraged. <laughs> and of all of the things that Costco has to offer, yeah. that was my favorite. Is there, this is, it sounds stupid, but like I've gotten the hot dog there. Is that different from the Polish one? Yeah. Which one's that? I don't get it. I think the Polish sausage, it's like Does thicker. It have, okay. And a little. Does it have different like a, toppings like uh, oh, sauerkraut or something? I, I thought, always thought that the toppings were like DIY. <laughs> What's Polish about it then? I don't know. I think it's a style of sausage. Well, now we have to look this up. I have to see it. <laughs> well, the article that I read as you look that up said that they're getting rid of the Polish hot dog in favor of acai bowls and organic burgers. Oh, acai bowls. <laughs> Can though, there are a few things I'm annoyed with. Okay. I'm annoyed with, well, okay. And we can't say I'm annoyed. I just feel like it's a food trend that's not going to last. The bowls? What Wait. is an acai bowl? I don't even know it's, what that is. It's so oh, dang that Polish hot dog looks good. I know. I could kill that right oh now. Oh my god. I I think that is the Polish dog different than the all beef. That's what I asked. No, it, they are too different. I'm you into can have the all the, beef. You're into the all beef. And then What's there's the, the Polish. What's the Polish mean though? Is it a different <sighs> meat product? I don't <laughs> question mark. No. Yeah. Does it look different? One yeah, maybe it's like long. thicker, oh, okay. and it uh, maybe it's a pork product, mm-hmm. and, and the other one's beef. beef. They should just say pork for Pete's sake. Yeah, that doesn't sound nearly as appetizing. <laughs> it's Polish sausage, uh-huh. um, but I bet you're, you're right. With the the toppings are a little different. Yeah, well, I mean, it just seems like Costco. I understand what they're trying to do there, but the people that go to Costco, and I am a member, by the way, so it's not like right. um saying anything bad. We don't want an acai bowl. No. No, I that's what I'm not. saying. I'm like, and also, if I if did. you look at the acai bowl and the co- the sugar contents and the stuff, like you can make that unhealthy as you want. It's just kind of like when you know McDonald's tries to trick us with some salads. <laughs> trick you. And the, when you put everything on the salad and like the dressing and everything, it has just as much. Oh, uh, I see. Like the nutritional value and the sodium intake is pretty much the same as the burger. Yeah, you're like- just getting some green in there. That's it. <laughs> But I feel the same with the acai bowl. I'm like, there's so much sugar in there from what? all that you fruit. You still didn't tell me what it is. Oh, it's a berry from Amazon. Yeah, but what's a bowl of it? it they take the berries, they freeze them, and then they like puree the berry. So, so it's, it's almost like, like, almost like, like a, a shake. Or a... Like a, yeah, like a, uh, it's a very thick smoothie. Smoothie, that's Yeah, what I mean. and so they'll put it in a bowl and they'll put honey and granola and bananas on top and it's like a super pro, like power rich, uh, antioxidant rich, yeah. um, you know, berry right. fruit that's super great. And it's really good if you've like, I don't know, spent the entire day chopping down trees <laughs> in the Amazon. I don't and know. And then you would need it. It's yeah. like a great post surfing, you know, food that's kind of like it's popular and like, and... you know, those can, but okay. to like down one of those when you're just walking through Costco seems like, I don't know. Yeah. Just eat the hot dog. That's what I'm going to do. And that's that's what I was going to say is these food trends. The other one I'm not upset about <laughs> are poke bowls. Yes, I am not into that. They're opening up a new poke bowl place. Is that just here, though? Is that a California may, thing? Maybe. Because I have a feeling they're, they're not like doing that in Pittsburgh. Near, I'm like, nobody needs a new poke bowl place. But they seem like they're always busy, these and, uh, places. We can't even get a breakfast spot in my neighborhood, and they got two poke bowl places. Stop opening those. <laughs> Give me some eggs. But I think that it's because there's a lot of demands. Maybe, maybe. They want some. You want no part of it. I just want one restaurant in the neighborhood to be that. Yeah. You don't need 10. No. Um, did you read about the lady who killed her father and it was because she said he abused her, like sexually abused her her whole life? Mm-hmm. Did you read about Mm-mm. it? I wanted to ask you about it given your history. Um, cause I think it was in England and I think she's on trial, but mm. it's like, you know, I, I, she's definitely not denying she did it, Yeah. but she was a, an adult. She's an adult. She's like in her maybe fifties. Oh, wow. And she still lived at home. Oh. And <gasps> like never learned to drive or something like oh, never had a seems boyfriend. bizarre. And she lost it. And I think. This is going to be one of those things I get wrong and people are going to write to me and I hate it. <laughs> but she, I think she hit him on the head with a shovel. Oh. That's how she did it. Like she, something made her snap and she just yeah. did him off. 
And now she'll probably be convicted, but like maybe with a lesser just sentence. A few years or something. Yeah. What do you think about that? I mean, do you are you do you think she did the right thing? Ugh. <laughs> no, obviously. I just <laughs> I don't, don't think that is obvious. Well, it oh god. Cuz you hear about, you know those guys that'll be like if anybody ever touches my daughter, I'm Yeah. Gonna, I but mean, I, I feel like, like that. the the reason why I say it's bad is because that act is it's temporary relief. Yeah. It's not real. You're not going to kill that person and then go, well, all those years of sexual abuse don't bug me anymore. Really? For real. Well, I know it would still bug you, as yeah. you're saying. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but I would think... Like, I'm like, cured. I'm fixed. You'd Jeez. feel... Especially because she still lived at home. If she were still in some way being victimized and it like it's like uh what did they call it the the when there's domestic violence and then the wife kills the husband oh yeah domicide or something and it's but if it it's self-defense even if it's oh. ongoing like there's oh, a there's a okay there's something that says like that. even if it, it's not a threat in that moment yeah. but yeah it's just that, like life. ongoing abuse and like okay. what those conditions do to a person yeah you know Ugh. I, anyway, you know what it reminds me of in a weird way is that mommy dead and dearest. Yeah. Because it's like, what do you, whose side are you on? Whose side are you on? <laughs> yeah. Right. But I do think that, that acting out or like revenge or anything that's like that is only a temporary. Yeah. It's at that moment of, is like fleeting. It's not mm-hmm. real. Yeah. She would probably get much more closure from actually working to like prosecute and take him, you know, have like <laughs> yeah. But the- she's been if she's been abused that long, she's not, she's not the type because she was still living at home and didn't what have is a that life. Name? It's the something to fit the. Uh. So like she was a person who yeah. her brain had been affected yes. to the extent that yes. she was debilitated yeah. in life. Yeah. Oh, so God. I think she thought this was her only yeah. chance. Right. I love how I keep bringing up like the most depressing yeah. things. I'm sorry, Sarah. I will like, stop whoa, right this whoa. second. I don't know if people are really going to want to hear the story about the alpaca that was killed by Doritos. Well, <laughs> I, I know they will want to hear about it and they'll want to hear about how cute our shoes are. Yeah. And how... Oh my God, yours looked great with your outfit the other day. Yep. I've been wearing my Rothies. Have you guys seen them on my Instagram? That's mm-hmm. another thing I post all the time mm-hmm. because like I always say they're chic and comfortable and they are sustainable because they are made out of recycled yep. plastic but then you think well the, how are they cute but they are they're super cute and they're machine washable and i hope you guys get them especially if you go to work and mm-hmm. want to look cute but want to be comfortable again yeah. just like we said about- everybody will think your shoes look so sleek and you'll be like i'm like practically wearing bedroom slippers. They <laughs> they feel like slippers. They have the flat, the point, and the loafer. They have tons of colors and patterns. I think they even have like a, um, didn't you tell me they have an animal print? Yeah, I, I was just going to say I have my eye on the leopard print one. That's what I think and I want to get. And the snakeskin one that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Um, we love our Rothy's, and we know you will too. Right now, Rothy's has an amazing deal for our listeners. Use code BRAINCANDY to get free shipping, no minimum, free shipping and free returns and exchanges on your Rothy's shoe. Trust me, you won't return them, though, because they're so comfy. Go to rothys.com, R-O-T-H-Y-S.com, and enter Brain Candy to get your cute shoes and free shipping, no brainer, shoes that are comfortable, stylish, and sustainable, and free shipping. Go get your pair today, rothys.com. Promo code brain candy get the deal while it lasts. Can you imagine how comfy you'd be in your beta brand pants and Rothy's shoes? That's what I'm saying. Like, hello. tag team. Yeah, tag team comfort and cuteness. So comfy. Tell me about the alpaca. So oh, uh, I think it happened in Florida. I'm pretty sure. It just sure. happened. I saw his picture. It yeah, was so it's sad. real sad. So R.I.P. What was R. his name? I, oh, he was unnamed. <gasps> oh no. I know. Alpaca doe. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> because it was at an alpaca farm. And so they like don't go to the business yeah. of naming all 200. And- so they would shear this alpaca for his. Probably. Okay. Yes. Yes. Let's hope it's what not alpaca the meat. Fuck but- ha- <laughs> so, okay. This is really fucked up. Sorry, Linda. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> okay. Who in my mind is like a slob. That's terrible. Would come by. You don't even know that, though. It's like the way you're picturing him. Yeah, I'm picturing him as just like gross. A low light. Like, I'm picturing him as kind of like 
the the guy on um, oh, what is it? Jurassic Park who ruins everything. Like, he's like Newman. Yeah, Newman. Yeah. It's totally Newman. <laughs> um, yeah, he's like just freaking gross. And uh, and you know he smells bad too. Sarah, he, sorry, I just am saying. They, you know he does. Why do you believe this? Because, what happened? Because he's the murderer. He, what he would do is he would go and dump <laughs> bags like like trash, like junk food or whatever, over the fence. What do you mean, trash or junk food? Well, this is the part where I was a little confused <laughs> because they said that he would dump junk food. Back Why, there, though? but then it wasn't clear whether they were like, if he was dumping it, like, oh, alpacas would love this. I'm gonna dump it there for them, or it almost seemed like he was getting rid of his own trash, and all that stuff was there. But the things that he threw over the fence this one night were Doritos, cheese nips, <laughs> and peanuts. This sounds awesome. And the alpaca just couldn't help himself just the one just the one well that's why they're usually not concerned because the whole herd will come through and eat like a little bit here and there isn't that bad but But i guess this guy was dumping a whole bunch of trash and this little alpaca ate too many doritos like for real and he (laughs) got something called endotoxemia which is where like i don't know the levels in your body of of sodium and whatever it is just go nuts and you have like seizures okay well our, and then he, uh, our, he died. Oh, yeah, it was in Florida. Are alpacas vegetarian? That's like they eat Good grass and stuff? Qu- yes, yes. Like sheep, yes, kind of. Yes, And so they're not used to people food. <sighs> right. Especially. Right. And are you, did they know that this was like malice? That's the part that I that is unclear. Because then why are you picturing him with all these terrible descriptors if you don't know for sure? Because I'm just picturing what kind of person would be like, here, alpaca, have some Doritos and throw them (laughs) over the fence. It's a weird thing to do. To picture them or to throw them over the fence? For him to... Very weird. Because that's why when I read the headline, I thought, well, someone just had good intentions that went bad. Like they were just feeding them out of love, but then... It's, it was dumped, though. That's it's like so dumped weird. and drove away. Because uh, we like didn't even watch to see the alpacas enjoy the Doritos. Yeah, yeah. What a weird. Yeah, thing. it seems there's. It seems bizarre. And I wonder how they implicated this guy. Yeah. Are there videos or something? Mm, I don't know. Because probably the- videos of him leaving the crime scene. Also, <laughs> while the alpaca was in the hospital, he got a blood transfusion from his dad, and he still didn't make it. You're lying I to me. I swear. Can you believe that? No. No. Alpaca blood transfusion from his from his dad. That's a, not a good sign about what is the re- in these I know. food items. I would also <laughs> like to point out that I'm currently eating a bag of Doritos <laughs> as we speak. Right. Well, I do like snacks, so mm-hmm. I, I'm pretty well stocked over mm-hmm. here. Oh, she's so stocked. It's the best. But you know, when I was growing up, I really always thought when I would be an adult, I could eat whatever I want, and then I would, and I don't. Yeah. I rarely bust them out. Oh. Like, usually it's like a bedtime snack or something. Yeah. But it's funny when you're a kid how you think, yeah. I am going to eat Ho-Ho's. Yeah. I loved, like, Swiss cake rolls. And yeah. Oh, I know those You like the nut or butter nut, or whatever. Nutty thing. bars. Nutty bars. Yes. <laughs> nutty bars. Anyway, maybe we should learn a valuable lesson from that alpaca. Yeah. Don't overindulge <laughs> and if you do don't bother with a blood transfusion <laughs> don't waste your time don't waste your time um there's weird stuff going on in florida well duh yeah always <laughs> like the security guard who videotaped himself farting for six months and recently got fired from the hospital that he works as a security guard at after he posted it what where did he post it I, I, on the internet and he created this whole like, account that he calls himself i'm so annoyed with this Paul Flart. <laughs> but like, if you're going to call it Paul Flart and add the L, why don't you just call it Paul Fart? Blart? Why did you have to do the F and the H? Right? Do you see what I mean? Like, what the L is unnecessary in there. I can't take it. Right? Like, the best part was when you go, do you see what I mean? Like, you, like, you see what I'm saying about this? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Paul Fart. But Right. I don't know. I just as I said that it's not as funny. Well, it's more clear that it's a yeah. reference when you add the, the L. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, recently fired. His his <laughs> video got like so far. And he's a security guard, just like Paul Blart. That's where the whole thing. His real name's Doug. <laughs> he didn't choose to give his last name to Vice News, Stop but it. his real first name's Doug. Okay, Doug. Yes. Would <laughs> make videos doing what now? Farting. But what do you mean? Like every time he just held the camera in front of him, like selfie style, Mm-mm. and let him rip. No. And then did a compilation of all of them that's like six minutes long. You have got to be kidding me. And it's had <laughs> th- over 300, almost 400,000 views. And on, it went where to, did you say? I'm sorry. It was on, I think it, it well, this part, what? I don't know. It was on Reddit that oh, his, oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, it's, he was like number one on Reddit. Yeah, for real. And I'm like, I can't even click that video That's to so play awesome. it. That's so awesome. Is like, he what does he look like? What exactly is- like Paul Blart. <laughs> yeah. He looks more like Newman. He's the, he could be the Dorito guy. It might actually be the same guy. <laughs> Come on. For real. So why was he fired though? <laughs> <laughs> because it's, he's doing it at the hospital. You can see the logo of the hospital in the background. He's you like supposed to be working undoing? security. And then, you know, we I have this. <laughs> mm, he's like on the clock. Yeah, but we do call you think. This, what do they call it? Time time theft? Yeah, but maybe if the name wasn't in there, he wouldn't have, they wouldn't have got yeah, caught. Yeah, maybe wouldn't whatever. have got caught. But as he, as he rose in popularity. <laughs> As his star rose. Yeah. And so then he got fired, but yeah. now he has like this big career farting. I guess so. He's like t- trying, he's like, that's what he's going to do now, I guess. He moved to Florida. His mother was sick. And so he moved to Florida to take care of her. I don't know where from. And uh, he <laughs> was looking for a job and couldn't get a job and saw that there were a bunch of security jobs available. So he got his like, you know, whatever you need, license or to kill protect <laughs> serve and protect with his gas and well, uh, oh wow yeah and so then he but in the article they describe him as being the nicest guy and he's oh. so funny and everybody loves him and they Get put him as out. a security guard at the front desk because he's great to talk to on the phone and he's just always made people laugh and so he thought like what's not funny about a fart it's universal it's like the universal language you <laughs> say like it's so funny to hear him talk about how like Every, it just it makes everybody laugh, and you yeah. can't blah 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 blah. And I'm just let like, me guess, single, probably. I don't think Doug has a partner. No, yeah, I would never. I'm no. not into farting at all. At all. At all. You people that have the families that fart. No, nope. I hate I'm not, you. I'm not for it. I hate. We should do a poll, it. Dahlia. Yes. If you're listening, can you make a poll on our Twitter account? Yes. About whether they're farting families. Yes. <laughs> I mean, we understand that everybody does. It's just, are you the kind where it's, like, not allowed and you don't do it in front of people? Or are you the kind that just lets it rip? Ah. Uh, I hate the letter rippers. Here's the thing. <laughs> I think we've even talked about this. Like, we're starting to repeat talk- <laughs> topics. But I, the main problem I have, of course, with the fart is the odor, of obviously. obviously. And that's why I find burps funnier. Although oh. sometimes they stink. But, like, generally yeah, but it's like just not, a noise. It's just, like, yeah. Um, but I tell Lincoln, you get in that bathroom and do yes, that. Yes, yes. That you is can so do good it. that you teach your child. Come on, you have to just shame him. Farting all the time families for that. make me sick. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I, hate it. I hate it. Um, shall I move on? Please. I was. Did I mention to you the article I read in the Atlantic about like the appeal of, for example, tough mutter? Oh no. You know? But I'm super into it. Have you done one? No. Okay. I mean, I kind of feel like 10 years on the challenge. Totally. But like now that you don't do the challenge, do you get tempted by them or what? I would do it in a heartbeat. I just have, you know, I just haven't had anybody to do it with. Oh, you want to do it with someone. Well, Well, I could do it alone. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I w- it just seems like a... It's a social thing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's weird. I'm like, don't... I'm the weird one who, like, shows up to social events and then hangs up by myself. Because I, like, go alone. Mm-hmm. And I'm, like, too scared to talk to anybody because I have social anxiety like crazy, even though, you know, you'd never guess. Right. So I just don't talk to anybody. And then I'm, like, at the triathlon, 
by myself, yeah. racing. Okay. And like, but you're open to it. You might do it. But I want a little. I want to be involved with the community more. I need people to do it with Aww, me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'll come cheer you on. Oh, that's good. And I mean, I would consider doing it, but they there have been those dangerous things that have happened oh, where what? people got hurt and died. No. Yeah. No. Uh huh. There have oh been a couple, God. but I mean, I guess that's to be expected. Like at some point. Yeah. I mean, with anything. Yeah. Right. I'm but, sure somebody's died in a triathlon before. Yeah. Good point. Drowned or it whatever. It just makes me nervous. Oh, I'll think about it. But anyway, yeah. the article was saying um, that humans, evolutionarily speaking, have this primal urge to be physical Mm -hmm. and our lifestyles now are sedentary due to, you know, just the jobs that exist as opposed to how they used to be, um, more manual labor. Yeah. And so for a lot of people, this is the solution to that problem. And as you pointed out, there's a communal sense. It's the same reason someone might go to church. Totally. Um, Oh, and you know what? I think about that. It is like church for some people. Yeah. Yeah. And you see that with like um, even just CrossFit and things where it almost feels like religious and spiritual for them. Um, There are a lot of people who tie religious religiosity to CrossFit too. Oh, yeah. There's a big overlap there. Yeah, huge. Um, And then since these Tough Mudder, and I think there's another one that I can't remember the name of that are the main two, since they started there has not been an increase overall in exercise amongst the public. It's just the same people that were already uh-huh. doing stuff, oh, participating. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I was surprised. Like, it hasn't inspired new recruits. Yeah, it's, it's just the same. Well, you know, I think it's just going to be like that forever. The, you're not going to motivate somebody who's... You're either into that or you're, you're not. You're either in, yeah. Yeah. And, I, like, if a new one comes up, you know, like, I am motivated to do those kind of things. And there's, like, F45 and their Orange Theory and all these new little yeah. fitness things. I've done all of them. Well, that's, I did CrossFit. I did F, I do F45 now. Like, when it, when it says it's just the same people doing these various things and switching out, that doesn't... At first, I was disappointed, but then I thought, well, hey... Some people need variety. Yeah, that's what I think it is. Yeah, like they get bored with mm-hmm. whatever their routine is, so it's like a yeah. fun new way to be fit. It's the Poke Bowl of the, <laughs> of the, exercise, of the community. exercise community. You're so right. And CrossFit is like phasing out. Is it? It's, it's I think down. so. I, because I think the injuries mm-hmm. that are involved, that it keeps pushing you to just more and more and more, where like, yeah, I understand it's like great to you know, throw up those big numbers. I had to stop doing it because... I just was too excited about winning and too excited about being the, having yeah. the best time that I was sacrificing form and like all the good stuff yeah. that I should be. And I so, used to, you yeah. tell me if I'm wrong. I used to think that you were super into fitness and exercise and stuff, but I think you're actually just really into competition. Yup. And so that includes a lot of athletic stuff. Yeah. But that that's not your main thing. Right. Okay. But then, mm, yes and no. Okay. But the other thing is, like, I've been, if I'm in an emotional place, like, I see how I get oh, a fix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I get that hit of dopamine from working out and going, pushing myself. Like, when I do F45, where it's like interval circuit training, and you'll be at one station and you have to do it for 45 seconds or whatever. And, a lot of people will get to second 40 and will stop because they're like exhausted or whatever. Yeah. Those, that extra five seconds where everybody else stops and I go ex- I harder mm. is where I get like, I can feel it physically in my brain where it's like, here you go. Here's the dump get of all out. the good stuff. And I, I, sometimes it's so intense that I'll cry. It makes me feel like I want to cry or like I'll push past like a wall and it really yeah. does feel like I have like a cathartic release. That's awesome. Yeah, so I be- I become addicted to that. And so I want to go in there, you know, and and get that feeling. And the only time I can get that feeling is by like really pushing my body to an extreme place. Yeah. But if I yeah, if I'm like in a good place, then fitness, physical fitness is really just either competition or just what I like to do outdoors. Mm-hmm. I don't have to think about working out, you know. Yeah. It's usually it's like an emotional yeah. place. Yeah. And, I mean, in the article, it, 
basically was saying what we've always said about the challenge, which is that, um, you know, a lot of people compete uh, in youth sports and uh-huh. high school sports, uh-huh. and then that's pretty much over. Yeah. Most people aren't in college sports, yeah. but some are, and then even fewer are in sports after college. And so there's a lot of people who at some point enjoyed yeah. physical competition and then now need to scratch the itch. Yeah. And so you they maybe are attracted to these yeah. obstacle course yeah. style things. Yeah. I don't get it. I love it. And like you see a lot of like real funky like paint runs and Yeah. Oh my gosh, all those the color run. Yeah. Yeah. Does that appeal to you? Yeah. You like all that? I I like it. It de- it would depend. I would never want to do any of these things alone. Okay. But like if you had a group of friends that were like, "Let's do totally. it." Totally. You would just no problem. No problem. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I won't be doing that, I don't think. Yeah. I'm open yeah, to it. Yeah, I would want to do that. Like I've done like turkey trots. And all those, like, Thanksgiving fun run, mm-hmm. you know. Why do people do that? Because then you're going to eat yep. a ton? And it makes you feel really good. I, I've i only done that once, but when I did, it was like Thanksgiving, like, felt, wor- you know, like you earned it. Anyway. Yeah. but and it was great. It was 5K. It's like, no big deal. Oh, my God. I couldn't do that if I tried. You could. Nope. You don't think so? No. Susie lo- is so serious right now. <laughs> like, I never see her so serious. She's like, t- nope. <laughs> No, at, like, like, this I just, is like, no, I really couldn't. I really don't even think I could run a mile. I am not lying. This, I can't, I just don't believe that. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's, like, I'm if you were just to it. look at the two of us <laughs> and guess which one could run a mile, you would definitely say Susie. It's just that. And it's not the case. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that. Cardio is a very right. specific yes. skill that I mm-hmm. do not have. Yeah. I well, don't this, think. Even if there was a murderer behind me, I think I couldn't do it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I always think that. Like, what if? Were you, if you were being chased by someone with a Our minds machete. go to the opposite place. Because oh. I have almost, all of a sudden, I'm like Flojo in my mind <laughs> when I'm getting Flo-Jo. chased by a murderer. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know. Um... What else do you want to cover before we go? Anything? Mm. Anything else? Oh, I want to. I kind of want to save this for the next one because it's a long one. I'll just save it. Oh, you know what? I'll just ask you this real quick. Yeah. Um, I read about this woman in Marie Claire who, you know, how you can get the gel manicure. Yeah. And then you. Uh oh, please God, don't say anything bad about the gel manicure. What are you going to say? Oh no. Well, she's you going already to, know. Ah. I know you already know the risks of like the Whatever. light that they use. No. Is, um, the bad kind of light. Oh, the the not LED. They use. It's like UV. Yes, UV light. And she got finger cancer. <gasps> oh. oh my god! <laughs> Here's Susie's bad news again. Okay, well I use a oh UV god. one, not a UV LED one. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to look that up. But I don't know, but because I'm not a manicure person, but yeah. I knew you were, and I thought I wonder I, if Sarah I, worries I DIY about that. It. I do them all myself. Yeah, but you have a light. Yeah. And it's LED. Yeah, I'm sure, because it's an over-the-counter one. that You don't have to have a... I mean, I got them on right now. So, you, Oh, you do? Yeah. Clear. I just do like one little thin coat of Why natural. Bother? Because then I just leave my nails. I don't bite them. I don't pick at them. They look beautiful. They do look beautiful. Thanks. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I mean, but I... And this is like a week old, Clearly, I don't too. care. Yeah. So I'm Once just... I gave Susie a manicure, mm-hmm. and she was like... It looks beautiful. So it was like bizarre to her that she was getting. <laughs> I just find it invasive yeah. and sort of absurd. But yeah. <laughs> obviously I'm in the uh, minority yeah. because most women really love having their nails done. Yeah. I like, well, I'm a, I'm a nail biter and, well, was, former nail biter here. <laughs> um, my name is yes, Sarah. Yes, my name is Sarah. I used to be a nail biter. When's uh, the last time you bit? Uh... <laughs> When I watched, oh, some scare, some movie that was r- real. Did you know you were doing it at the time? Yep, and I limited myself to like two fingers. I was like, <laughs> you're allowed to have those two. You no. have to keep the other ones. Yeah, there was some movie that I watched, and I was like, and then recently I watched a scary movie, and I was like, well, there's the whole, there goes the whole hand. Get out of yeah, here. Yeah, and it's usually like, what happens is I'll be nervous, and I'll just bite the end of it, like just oh, as a, yeah, and yeah. then... I just have OCD, mm-hmm. and so I feel it, 
I have obsessive compulsive behaviors, excuse me, not OCD. Yeah. And OCB. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes. There you go. Mm-hmm. And so it's like if I don't I have to bring a nail file with me to the movie theaters. No, you don't. I've started to do that because if I don't have one, There's then no I There's no way will... other people appreciate that. I'm so quiet. Nobody hears me. Are you sure? I'm for... Susie, trust me. <laughs> Joe so Schmoe you... chomping all over there on his popcorn is when much louder. When you use your nail file yeah. um, during the movie, it soothes you? It's a self-soothing thing? Well, it prevents the hangnail on yeah. my finger that will then keep make me keep biting it so that it's like it's really just my desire for them to be smooth. Yeah, I get and the that. nail polish keeps them smooth without like hangnails because gel is like super strong. How often do you do these gel ones though? Because they sound dangerous. Well, I've been doing it like, like once a week. No, every probably every two weeks. Okay. Usually I do two weeks, and then I'll take a br- week break, and then I'll do it. again. I'm sure it's rare, you know. Yeah, and also I really got to find out what kind of light I'm using because that <laughs> freaks me out. Yeah, just check on that. I'm just you know baking them. <laughs> it's what we say about hype all the time. It's like, you know. It's probably not going to be your undoing. Yes, yeah. It's the nail yeah. light. Or the Doritos. And it does feel like a scare tactic when totally. you read about it, but yeah. I just thought I'd mention it. You know, there that. were always those things. Of like, I read an article back in the day that was about acrylic nails catching fire. Oh, okay. And like if you, you, you would go to light a candle. Because like it happened to your, one person. Yeah, and your acrylic nails catch on fire or something. What do you do? Just throw them in water then? Well, I don't know. <laughs> You didn't read that far? No, I mean, it was just like, well, I just read the headline then. I wasn't hosting a podcast at this time. (laughs) Right, you didn't have to pay attention. Yeah, right. Back schmacks. Yeah. All right, um, don't forget to check out our website, sign up for the newsletter, leave us a five-star review. We read them when we're wasted. Yes, I love your five-star reviews. (laughs) Tell a friend. Tell a friend about us, would you? Yeah. We love you. Bye. Bye.